Alexa, ask our ionosphere what are the current band conditions. Current ionospheric conditions as of Wednesday, January 26, 2022 at 1508 UTC. The planetary K index is 2. The planetary A index is 6. The solar flux index is 101. The maximum usable frequency from Boulder, Colorado is 18.41 MHz. During the day, conditions on 80 and 40 meters will be good. On 30 and 20 meters, good. On 17 and 15 meters, good. On 12 and 10 meters, poor. At night, conditions on 80 and 40 meters will be very good. On 30 and 20 meters, good. On 17 and 15 meters, good. On 12 and 10 meters, poor. 73 in good DX. So, this is my, and then she, here you can actually see what she said. Oops, let me go down here. Oh, okay, right there. Um, this is my Echo Show 5. And what I'm going to show you is how you can get it to do what you just saw and other things related to amateur radio and shortwave listing. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go out and divide to, uh, to, to buy one of these devices. I took three words and I combined them and come up with divide. <laughs> Gosh, I am so bad. Anyway, and I've done this. I've done this show th four times now. I messed it up every time. So anyway, moving on. I'm not saying go out and divide <laughs> buy <laughs> one of these devices, but I'm saying if you already have one, and this is like. Echo Show, Echo Dot, all these devices that you can get from Amazon that is a information center. Now, most, if not all, and much more information that it provides, you can get off your computer. So that's why I'm saying you don't need to go buy one. But if you already have one, I wanted to point out some of the things you can do with it related to amateur radio and shortwave listening. And that was one. It um, it is called current ionos. No, I can't pronounce that word. Ionosphere conditions, and it's a what they call is a skill, which is a little program that you add to your Echo device. And you do that on the internet on the Amazon web page on a specific page and what happened was yesterday I got an email and it says we have updated one of your skills and it told me what it did and so and it wasn't this one because I didn't have this one installed and then I thought well while I'm here I haven't looked at skills lately because there are new ones being posted every day let me look at some of the new skills that are available especially ones for amateur radio and shortwave listeners. So I found about a dozen, and I thought, okay, I'm going to put a couple of these on here that sound interesting and just see how they work. Okay, this one, as you saw, will give you the propagation status. And on the Echo Show devices, it will actually show what it's saying. On the other devices where you only have audio, You'll hear, you heard, you heard, you heard what it's going to tell you. So again, it doesn't replace your computer. It's just convenient because I've got these devices all over my house. I start, I start out by buying the Echo Dot. I got it for $25 at Home Depot of all places. And then I just kept adding, because I liked it, and I just kept adding to it and adding to it. My daughter bought me this two years ago. And, um. Uh, I really like it. I really like it because it's so convenient. I mean, lots of times I forget what day it is or what the date is, or I want to know the temperature. Right here it's showing me the temperature, or I can ask it the temperature. So it's just handy. And I've, I've got uh, three or four of these little plug-in devices that you just plug into an outlet, and it works basically like these except it's voice only. So that's one of the skills you can add. And it's always there and you can always ask it. The thing 
that you got to do is you got to learn the key phrase to say to get the information. Now I'm going to try another one. I've got three of them that I installed. Okay, this is the next one. Alexa, ask propagation reports for band conditions. Did you hear me? Ah, she didn't hear me. Let me move a little closer. I'm quite a ways from the device behind the camera. Alexa, ask propagation reports for band conditions. She's thinking. Here is the propagation report from N0NBH from Wednesday, January 26th, 2022 at 12 a.m. Today expect 80 and 40 meters to be fair, 30 and 20 meters to be good, 17 and 15 meters to be fair, and 12 and 10 meters to be poor. Tonight expect 80 and 40 meters to be good, 30 and 20 meters to be good, 17 and 15 meters to be fair, and 12 and 10 meters to be poor. Okay, that's basically the same as the other one, except the other one, if you have a show, Echo Show device, actually showed you what she was saying. This one just says it in words. Okay, I'm going to try one more. Um, it's an amateur radio news line. Alexa, open amateur radio news line. Welcome to amateur radio news line. Now playing Lean. Amateur Radio News Report 2308 for Sorry. Friday, January 21st, 2022. Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2308 with a release date of Friday, January 21st, 2022. To follow in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The following is a QST. Disaster and a communications blackout in Tonga. Preserving DX access on remote Central Pacific Islands and an online museum with some very old and very rare QSL cards. All this and more is Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2,308 comes your way right now. From around the world, Alexa, this is Newsline. stop. Okay, so there's a uh, newsletter, Amateur Radio Newsletter, that um, you can listen to on Alexa. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear that it shows you the text of the of the report, it just it's just audio. So that's three of them, and there, like I say, there's about a dozen if you just search on shortwave that you find. Now, I'm sure there's other ones if you search for other things. But I wanted to show this to you. It's kind of cool, and it's kind of handy. Uh, but I can say, I wouldn't say go buy one of these Echo devices just for this, because, like I said, you can get this information off your computer. But if you have one, you might want to think about adding these skills. And I have I have now about 10 different skills that I've enabled is a term, enabled. And these are just three new ones that I didn't know about that you can add. And you can see here, you know, it it the Echo Show will interface with you and tell you some things to do and um, it provides you you can change the screen of course of what's on it and I've got the time the temperature and normally the dates down here so I, I just thought I showed you it took me it took me about six tries to get through this video uh, and I don't know if I did a very good job as as, a, as this one is but there it is if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up Tell me on doing shows you're interested in. If, you, if you've got one of these devices, and it doesn't have to be the Echo Show with the display, um, th these skills, for the most part, will work on any Echo device. If you've got one, here's some cool things you can set up and have it do for you. That's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.